Hey everybody, welcome to this month's question of the month. Here I am, David Kyle, ready to answer your yoga anatomy questions. Uh, if you, if you want to submit a question yourself, go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question. But this month's question comes from Ivana. Hi David, I am really enjoying your comprehensive anatomy course. That's a course on the website that you can actually go buy and pay for and do the course. I have a question regarding external rotation of the knee. In one of the lesson videos, you mentioned that the bent knee will induce an external rotation slash internal rotation of the tibia, whereas a straight leg will permit rotation from the hip. As in ballet, the turnout of the feet needs to happen with a straight knee, i.e. the rotation needs to happen both at the hip and tibia. I'm wondering, what is the mechanism for this to happen, apart from genetic predisposition? Also, how damaging would a turnout be long term? Best regards from Chile. Well, Ivana, um, let me clarify, let me go back to, and this could just be uh, phrasing from, you know, Spanish to English for you. Um, the bent, what you said, what you wrote was that the bent knee will induce an external or internal rotation. So. Uh, inducing means that it's going to create, basically. Um, when you bend the, the knee 10 degrees, approximately, or more, it then has the, the opportunity, doesn't mean it will, but it has the opportunity to externally rotate the tibia relative to the femur, or internally rotate tibia relative to the, to the femur, okay? Uh, just to clarify that. It's free to rotate once you've bent it 10 degrees. It doesn't mean that it will. Um, and the other way to say the, the second part is when the knee is straight, the internal external rotation, like if you were looking at a foot, let's say in the ballet turnout, if the knee is straight, then the turnout that you see at the foot is coming from the hip joint. Um, not a ballerina. If you couldn't tell already, <laughs> um, I've never taught ballet. I've certainly taught multiple dancers. Sure. Um, what I would say is, I, I'm I'm not I'm not 100% sure. That you're saying it in your ballet dancer, so and I do have somebody who I could consult on this, and I probably should have. Um, it's not that you want your turnout to come from your tibia right, and your knee joint, but of course some of it, you'll put a natural torsion there. So when you say, when you talked about genetic disposition, you know, our anatomy can be changed to a degree. If you started dancing when you were four years old, or five years old, or six years old when your bones are still forming, and you put yourself into that turnout position, you're, you're creating a spiral force through your leg. The majority of that is coming from your hips, but because of the nature of your foot being planted and the tibia, you know, you're still going, you're going to create some external rotation, but I dare say it might not be at the knee joint, it might be that you create a, a twist in the tibia itself if you're starting from the young age. Okay, that's if. How much of that? I don't know. I haven't done research, haven't looked at numbers on that, but that's the only other way it's really going to happen. Anatomically speaking, it's not coming from the knee joint when it's straight. Okay? That's my understanding. Maybe you can email me again. We can, uh, I can check in with um, I've got a couple of friends who've been in the ballet world forever, okay? Um, they might kind of inform me a little bit better. All right. Um, the last part of your question is also important though, which is also how damaging would it turn out be long term? It depends on how much of it is coming, how much you see it going on in the tibia knee area versus in the hip joint. If more of it's coming from the hip joint, I would, I would worry about it less. The more it goes down and, you know, if you've been doing it forever, 
you know, your body has probably come to accommodate how your body is put together and how it formed, let's say in those early years as a young dancer. So it might not be a problem long term. I don't predict the future. But I can predict this. I will answer another question on YouTube. So if you go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question, submit a question and I'll answer it on video.